the leaks just keep on coming. Every single time I've tried to make this video over the past couple of days, a new set of leaks has come out and I've had to throw everything that I've made in the trash and start all over. It's frustrating, but it's also awesome because it means that the game is about to change drastically. The reason there's so many leaks right now is because a massive update is coming to the game. If you're not aware, Tower Defense Simulator celebrated its first birthday on June 15th. There was supposed to be a smaller update for the birthday with two new maps and a new commander skin, but that update was delayed because the lead developer of the game, Below Natural, got sick. I think the plan at this point is to lump in that update with the bigger update they are planning to do for summer anyway, and there is some speculation online about the date for those changes, which I'll cover shortly, but the fact right now is that we don't know when to expect it. What we do know is that if there's anything at all that's released related to these updates, I'll make a video on it to keep you guys in the loop on all things TDS. So go ahead and smash that like button with your forehead, hit the subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications with your back so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Harrison and I have two cats. Thank you guys so much for the positive response to my last update and leaks video. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. You can consider that part one. This is part two. But before I get into the news, I want to go ahead and announce the Robux giveaway winners from the other leak video that I did. Here you can see on screen that I used a YouTube comment picker website to choose the winners. And I made sure that the people that won had followed all of my instructions. And then I contacted them in Discord and paid them from my Roblox group fund. There's not going to be a Robux giveaway in this video, but I will be doing another one in the future. So keep an eye out for that. First things first, let's talk about this door. Whenever there's somebody in a lobby for an entire hour, this happens to this door. Now I've seen some rumors floating around online about what the cryptogram says and what it means, but I have one major issue with what I've read. Let me show you in slow motion every single line of text and maybe you can decode this message better than I did. Now, to me, there were two lines that very obviously stuck out as repeating, even though the letters in each repetition were in a different order. This is the first one, and I think it's pretty obvious what it says. It says, see you soon. This message is easy to spot because it's the only line in all capital letters, and it actually appeared for me seven times. So that one's pretty easy, but this next one is much stranger. In my research for this video, I came across another YouTube account that had posted the cryptogram from their lobby in slow motion. This allowed me to analyze it, and what I found was a key difference in our messages. In the places where I had this message, they had this one. I'll tell you the channel so you can go check it out for yourself. It's Stebo Blocks. So Stebo posted their video on May 30th, which is an entire month ago at this point. And this is the message that is making people think the update will be July 5th, which makes sense because that's what it says. This is the main message I was looking for when I recorded my cryptogram because I wanted to see for myself that there was a concrete date for the next update update, but I didn't find this message. Instead, in its place, I found this one. And what does this message say? It says sometime in July. So it seems like something happened between May 30th and today that made the devs change the concrete date of July 5th to sometime in July. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, something did happen in June to push back the release of planned updates. Below Natural got sick. This is why they changed the line from July 5th, 2020 to sometime in July. Of course, we want Below and everyone else working on this game to be healthy and happy people. So it looks like for now, we'll just have to hope that this update drops sometime in July. And if it takes longer than that, well, we'll just wait longer. Just wait longer. As for the rest of the lines of the cryptogram, I really haven't been able to find anything. If you manage to decipher another line, let me know in the comments so I can take a look at it. And I will continue to visit this to see what I can find before the next update. Okay, and now on to the leaks. First thing I want to cover is the coolest leak IMHO. This is 
is very obviously the new hardcore lobby. This is what's going to be through the portal that has been in the main lobby since the Easter event ended. Now I know it says end of the line for all the maps and that is one of the OG maps but don't get too excited for that. Beef states here that this is the default map icon and it doesn't mean that it'll be coming back. But can we just take a moment to appreciate the ambiance, the exquisiteness, the beauty of this lobby? It really is a work of art and I'm fired up to see it in person. One thing to note here is that there seems to be a night and day in this lobby as opposed to the main lobby that is always day. Here it's nighttime and in this other leaked photo of the elevators in that lobby you can see that it's daytime. That's a nice little touch and I hope this wasn't just for the test and it's actually included in the lobby. It would be even better if there was a multicolored galaxy above this lobby showing the infinitude of space. The next leak I'm going to cover is going to be the new mortar explosions. Here's a video of that. Looks like a nuke just went off. I don't really use mortars, although they're my favorite explosive weapon. Just because of this change, I'm going to rotate them into my lineup to see the new explosion for myself. And moving right along, we see a video of one of the new hardcore mode bosses. Going to call this boss a steel boss. Please laugh. Looks like he moves a little slower, but he's going to have a lot more health. Now, I'm not sure if you guys caught this, but what is that thing? This is the new tower nobody is talking about. <laughs> it's overpowered. It's actually terrifying. <laughs> the zombies are so scared of it, they actually walk backwards away from it. Speaking of new zombies, here we have this cute little feller just floating along, trying to reenact his favorite movie up, although hopefully with not such a sad beginning. I have a feeling this zombie might move a little faster than the others because he has conquered the four forces of gravity and friction. I'm also wondering if he doesn't move faster at times like the supercharged zombies from the polluted wasteland map. You know, kind of like if the wind was pushing him. Also, what map is this? Are we going to get a new map with new zombies specific to the map again? And that's what makes me think this is actually two leaks in one. This is a new zombie and it's a new map. Okay, this next series of leaks is going to be about mobile. In this post from the TDS Discord, Raz says that the update is going to provide much needed optimization specific specifically for slower devices, aka phones and tablets. I think this is why we have these pictures of the game being played on an iPad. They took these to release as teasers while they were testing the game out on a mobile device. Here we see two pictures of players in the new hardcore lobby, very epic. And here we get a glimpse of the new UI and I actually have an image of the home screen for the new UI uh, that I don't want to release yet because I can't verify it where it came from so I don't know if it's been made public. I don't want to release any information that the uh, dev don't want to be out in the open. What I can say about it is that it looks much more modern than what we have now. Now here is a video taken from that same iPad that shows a new basic crate opening. And here's a video of the new golden crate opening animation. Oh my god, that dude is missing an arm. It's a new one-armed golden tower. No, it's just an animation glitch. Okay, now we're gonna move into the leaks that have to do with the new skins. So I'm a boomer and I didn't know who this was. Lucky for me, I have some very knowledgeable people in my Discord. Fire Sticks comes to the rescue again, letting me know that this is Moniko from Battle Cats. Battle Cats is a tower defense game that came out of Japan in 2011. This next pick is the one that I've seen people getting the most excited for. If you can't tell, these are the new Enforcer skins. Enforcer is also getting a rebranding soon to Shotgunner because I think it was confusing for some new people. You don't hear Enforcer and necessarily just think Shotgun. Below said in Discord that the Enforcer skin is still going to be offered, just not as a default skin. He hasn't decided whether it will be a premium or a basic skin, but just in case it's a premium skin, then you shouldn't worry because starting with the next update, there's going to be new ways to get premium crates that don't require Robux. I'm thinking it's going to be a challenge 
challenge system similar to the way we get platinum crates now. So these three images just show all of the new skin colors for the towers. They're not necessarily new skins. I'm gonna go ahead and show all three images one by one in a close-up now. I like the variety that we're being offered and hopefully now you guys understand why this update is such a big deal. There aren't just new zombies, new maps, a new hacker tower on the way. There's also an overhaul of the UI, a brand new lobby area, a brand new hardcore game mode, new basic colors for all of the skins, new dances, and a new crate opening system. And last, but I'm sure not least, a big visual change to the game. Notice this blurred area off to the right side of the screen. That's even more new content that below is not ready to release yet. I mean, if that doesn't impress you, I don't know what else to say, except that there is more to say. Here are two new skins I just found out about as I was recording this video. The first is a new communist minigunner skin with a reference in Below's tweet to this style of meme I've seen lately. The next skin is a new, dare I say, Doom Eternal minigunner skin. I pulled this from the brand new Tower Defense Simulator Reddit this morning. Below says here that this is the new Survivor minigunner skin and you can get it from the basic crate. And wrapping up this skin roundup is the leak of what I think are the new skins for the summoner bosses. Don't you think so? That's the vibes that I'm getting from them. Wow, that was a lot of information. Now do you see why I kept pushing this video back. Every single day there's something new to show you. One thing I want to say again is that if there are any more major leaks before the update, I'll be sure to post a video here, even if it's a short one. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of that. Also go ahead and do me a personal favor and hit that like button. I'm going to end this video with a couple of posts from the TDS Discord that aren't really leaks. These are polls they posted that indicate to me the direction that the game is going in. The first one asks if the medic should be immune to all stuns, I would say this change is the only thing that could get me to start using the medic. Because right now with all the stun abuse in the game, it's almost impossible for me to place a medic right after something like the Templar stops stunning. And then to level that medic up to level 5 and use the ability before the stuns would have worn off anyway. I might as well just leave the medic there, let it be stunned and then unstunned and then use the ability. But if I could use the unstun ability the moment the Templar stops shooting, that would be a major win for this tower. Because I just don't really care about it healing my HP. Also, taking away the stun from a tank rock right away would be an amazing ability. The next poll I want to show you has to do with the maps being ranked from easiest to hardest and the harder maps being worth more XP and gold. I am behind this idea 100% because as you guys know, I'm all about the challenge. If there are tougher maps to play that give higher rewards, I'm going to opt for those over the easier, more basic maps. I think this also offers some incentive for people to keep playing the game because there would be higher rewards for higher level players who have better towers and understand strategy while also showing lower level players which maps they'd be more likely to win on while they continue to learn the game. To me, this is a better option than something like a skill-based lobby system. And with that, I conclude this video. I've already said like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so many times in this video. I'm not gonna say like, subscribe, and turn on notifications again. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget what I always say. Peace.